Haydn was asked to provide the musical commentary, as it were, on, the, on each of the words. So there'd be a sermon and then some music um, reflecting the sermon. Um, Haydn was very daunted by this prospect um, of doing such a commission, but, but once he did it, I think he was very satisfied with what he'd done. Um, the first version was actually for small orchestra, and then Haydn himself arranged it for quartet, and then later on for choir um, as well, and I think he was, he was pretty <coughs> pleased with it. Um, but as you can imagine, this gives a slight performance problem for today, because unless we are to play it with um, sermons, which we're not very keen to do, um, it's not clear how to perform it. So one way is to um, just play the seven slow movements together without any interruption, which Haydn would have hated and is a little bit wearing to hear such so many slow movements. Um, the other is to have a sort of rag bag of readings and different poems. And the third way, which we think is by far the best, is to have tailor-made poems by someone which will create unity um, for the piece. And that's what Ruth has provided. And just before I hand over, just imagine what it is like having a commission to write something about the, probably the most iconic image in, 20s, in, in 2,000 years of history and to match Haydn's music. So over to you, Ruth. <laughs> Thank you. So no pressure then. <laughs> um, the, the first thing, I, I want to make five quick points. One is that they're not words. It's called the seven last words. It says, the seven letzten Worte Jesu Christi. But actually, they're sentences. Um, they are excerpts. Nobody knows who did it, but they were excerpted quite early on in the Western tradition from the Gospels, three from Luke, three from John, and one which is shared by Matthew and Mark. Nobody knows who did it, but quite early on, on these things were incorporated in pretty much the order that we have them that we're doing them tonight, that Haydn knew them in. 